This is non-calculator question number 19 for the May 2019 SAT. College Board gives us a system of equations and asks for the value of x. And there are no obvious easy ways to solve this. So since I'm looking for x, I'm going to use a linear combination to eliminate y. If I multiply the first equation through by positive 3, negative 3x three times 3 is negative 9x. 5y times positive 3 is 15y. And remember to multiply the right-hand side by 3 also. So I multiply by 3 to get negative 9x, multiply by 3 to get 15y, multiply by 3 to get 1. Second equation, I'm going to multiply through by 10. 2x times 5 is 10x. Negative 3y times 5 is negative 15y. 2 times 5 is 10. That worked out better than I expected. If I add these two equations, that will eliminate the y. And negative 9x plus 10x is 1x, plus 0y equals 3 plus 10 is 13. So our answer would be 13. I feel a little squeamish about solving for x and not y, so I'm going to solve for y in the second equation. Twice my x value minus 3 times y equals 2. So 2 times 13 is 26 minus 3y equals 2. Let's add 3y to both sides. 26 equals 3y plus 2. Subtract 2 from both sides. 24 equals 3y. So y equals 8 when I divide both sides by 3. Let's try x equals 13, y equals 8 in the first equation, and that will confirm that I have the correct answer. So negative 3 times x, which is negative 3 times 13, plus 5 times y, which is 5 times 8, should be 1. This is negative 39, plus 5 times 8 is 40, and yes, that is 1. So my answer is correct, and they were asking for x, x equals 13. There are a number of ways to solve systems of equations. Make sure that you know several of them so you can choose the one that's most suited to the question you're working with. And come back soon for my next video with math, there's always more.